today to do some maths with me on YouTube. So, what we're going to do today is partition a two-digit numbers. Now remember, partition means to part. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to shout the word partition as loud as you can to your parents. You ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to show you what to do and then you're going to have a little go yourself. So I'm going to choose the number 32. 32 is my whole. Then I'm going to put it into two parts. So I'm going to partition it into tens and into ones. And I can see it has got three tens and two ones. And three tens is the same as 30. So I'm going to go for 30 and two. 30 is a part, two is a part, 32 is my whole. And I'm going to have another go at it. I'm going to choose this time a bigger number, 79. So 79 is my whole. And again, I'm going to partition it into tens and ones. So I'm going to go 70 is a part, 9 is a part, 79 is my whole. Now, what we must remember is if I have a number like 16, that I'm not going to partition it into 1 and 6. Because if 1 is a part and 6 is a part, 7 would be in our whole. We've got to remember that 1 means 10. Okay, I'm going to write some numbers on the board now and I'd like you to have a little go at you partitioning it into 10s and 1s. So we're going to go for 83, 97, 54, 76, 81, 17, 23, and ooh, 52. Okay, if you'd like to pause the video now and have a little go at those, I'll be back in a minute to give you another task. Okay, pause it now. Okay, so I hope you found that task quite easy. I think you might need a little bit of a challenge. So what we're going to do now is think about how to part numbers, not just into tens and ones, but in different ways as well. So we can see we've got 32 is our whole. So I'm going to put that up here. I've got three tens and I've got two ones. And I'm going to do 32 is my whole again. Now this time I'm going to partition it into three groups and I'm going to go for 10, 20, and two. So 10 is a part, 20 is a part, and two is a part. And 32 is my whole. Now what I'm going to do to show my understanding next to it or underneath it, I'm going to write 10 add 20 add 2 equals 32. And then I'm going to challenge myself to see if I can think of a different number sentence. This time I'm going to swap these around because it is commutative and I'm going to do 20 add 10 add 2 equals 32. And then I'm going to move the 2 to the front of the sentence and I'm going to do 2 add 10 add 20 equals 32. And then I'm going to swap my 10 and 20 over and do 10 add 20 is 32. I wonder if you could challenge yourselves to even do some subtraction ones. We'll have to see. Okay, so I want you to have a go at partitioning your numbers into three equal parts, or even four, it's completely up to you. So, using the numbers from the last set of questions, can you now partition them into three parts, and maybe you could challenge yourselves to do the number sentences as well. If you want an even bigger challenge and to really impress your teachers, you could show your parents how we do our bar model. Okay, so 32 is my whole. I'm going to say 10 is a part, 20 is a part, and 2 is a part. Okay, you could even go back and do it for these ones as well. It's completely up to you. Have a little go. Send a picture to your teacher so we can have a look at all the amazing work that you have done, and then we'll be back later for some more videos. See you later.